taxpayer dollars at work. I like to think of this lab as a rule that we are birthing the future. Jet propulsion, space travel, and of course, beating the Russians. I always dreamed of seeing this place. We're only a couple of years old. Is that a... A, a communicator watch. Imagine a tiny radio that you carry with you at all times. Imagine that. This one's highly experimental. An electromagnetic pulse discharger. Someday it might be able to knock out every electronic gadget within 30 feet. Give me an hour, I'll save them decades. And this is Helios. I thought it would be bigger. <laughs> You're a real cut up, Mr. Sharp. That's the model, 120th in scale. Helios itself is. On the testing field, now, an ion fusion reactor is one of rocket science's holy grails. Think of it. You could power a space station in perpetuity. The MPs, how do they get to base? Oh, they live here. Like me, they don't get to see much of the outside world. Did anyone enter the base this morning? Well, sure. The, the science team comes in daily. We'll need to speak to each of them. Just routine. A couple of questions. Is this about the test this afternoon? Yes, the test. Definitely. You two know something I don't? Infinitely more. inside. Great. Let's hope our guys start singing. You got the wrong guy. We know exactly who you are. Now tell us who determines security access. I'd answer her. Who can get to Helios? Look, we know you're not the bad guy, but you may have given access to one, so help us out. Go. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll tell you. When hell freezes over. I'm a loyal American. Did you really think that I would break for Bush League commie scum like you? We're trying to prevent something terrible. And by terrible, do you mean America's continued dominance and unparalleled excellence? That arrogance is putting lives at risk. So, mamacita. <laughs> Caliente. <laughs> Good thing your boy's here to keep you in line. Allow me to introduce myself. Gerald Sharp. Department of Defense ex-military i didn't just teach interrogation and resistance i wrote the field man so do your worst getting to the bottom of this may be difficult the chronicons have infiltrated they would all look and act exactly like this. Okay, but now you're just trafficking in stereotypes. I mean, perhaps until the more diverse population goes into the fields, I'm afraid any one of them could easily be mistaken for a chronicon. True, but we don't have to test if they're chronicons. We just have to test if they're human. All we have to do is trigger an emotional response. How many things am I holding up? No, nope, you're wrong. You didn't give me a chance. It was two fingers. Thank you.
Chum Wei. A bit overrated, don't you think? I mean, you're rugged. You're on a horse. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares about John Wayne? Amanda cares. She couldn't stay with Rick. She had to go with Victor. Haven't you ever made a sacrifice for someone you love? Yes. <laughs> How does it make you feel? When I say the word moist, moist, please, no, please stop, moist. Yeah, you're good. The MPs are asking if you'd like them to hold the bus. The bus? The VIP is coming in for the helios test. Yes, of course. I'll go for the new arrivals. Who could be anybody? Science team arrived? This morning. I may need a moment with the contact. Okay, but Sharp, the man in from DC, he's uh, already interviewing them. Yes? Yeah, and they brought a shield dame along. British. Pretty. She outranks us. You catch your name? Carter. Peggy Carter. You know her? You could say that. 